Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. O'Connor, and today I'm going to show you how to use Hess's Law in order to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction here using these equations. So we're going to use this data here to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction. So the whole idea here is we need to manipulate these equations in such a way as that when we add them, we end up with our overall equation with the correct coefficients. So what we can do is, for example, I can multiply equation 1 through by 2. If I do that, I also have to multiply delta H by 2. I might need to reverse equation 1. If I do that, I have to change the sign of delta H. So let's just go through the problem, and then you'll see how this works. So I'm going to look through all the three of these equations. I'm going to look for the iron 3 oxide, the carbon monoxide as reactants. And here, in equation 1, I have the iron 3 oxide and the carbon monoxide as a reactant. So I'm not going to reverse this equation, but what I am going to do is multiply this by 3 so that I end up with three of these. So let me do that down here. Now, because I multiplied these coefficients by 3, I also have to multiply this delta H here by 3. So 3 times a negative 23.44 kilojoules. See, what we're going to do is we're going to add these equations, and then we're going to add the delta H values to come up with the delta H for this overall reaction. So let's go ahead and take a look at equation number 2. And I notice right away that this, the iron 4 oxide, is a product in our overall equation. So I'm going to flip this equation, and I also need two of these. I'm going to flip the equation and multiply by 2. So now, when I flip the equation, I have to change the sign. And I also have to multiply this by 2. So it's going to be 2 times a negative 21.79 kilojoules. Now, for equation number 3, I'm going to go ahead and multiply the coefficients by 6. That's because I need to cancel out this and the iron. So let me get that down. So we have 6 iron plus 6 carbon dioxide and 6 iron 2 oxides plus 6 carbon monoxides. And again, I will also have to multiply this delta H here by th 6. This would be 6 times a negative 10.94 kilojoules. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the equations first, and then hopefully I'll end up with the right amounts of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. If not, I can, you know, further manipulate these equations. Let's see, here are the iron 2 oxides cancel and the six irons cancel. So on the reactant side, I have three of these iron three oxides. Now, I have nine carbon monoxides here. And if we go back to our overall equation, the reactant side should only have carbon monoxide and iron three oxide. So I have nine carbon monoxides here, and on this side, I have 2 and 6, that's 8. So 9 minus the 8 would just be 1 carbon monoxide gas. So that's good. Uh, let's see what's going on on the product side. Carbon dioxide. I have 9 carbon dioxide on this side, and I have 8 on this side. So 9 minus 8 leaves me with 1 carbon dioxide, and then I have my iron 4 oxide. Great. This equation here matches my overall equation, and that was the goal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the delta H's here, and I end up with a, an enthalpy change of a negative 179.5 four kilojoules. So I hope this helps with using Hess's Law. Just remember, the goal is you manipulate those equations until you get the overall equation. If you multiply the coefficients 
of an equation by a number, you multiply delta H. If you reverse an equation, change the sign of delta H.